What's up guys, so in this quick video, I will show you how to shut down or restart any Raspberry Pi using your iPhone. So this is really useful, especially if you have made a NAS server using a Raspberry Pi. So basically, to power off and restart your Raspberry Pi, you either log in through SSH or using a jumper to start the reset pins which triggers the Pi. So every time you need a computer to log in into Raspberry Pi and issue a shutdown or reboot commands. So that's boring, right? So but in this video, I will show you using your iPhone, how can you do it very easily? So before moving on to the main part, I assume that you are in nice about a Raspberry Pi and you know how to log in through SSH and what is a static IP address so let's get started all right the first thing I will do is a login to Raspberry Pi from my MacBook Air through SSH as a root user so next up assigning a static IP address for the Raspberry Pi so inside the terminal of the Raspberry Pi if I type IP space a letter A so you will see the current uh, Ethernet IP address of my Pi in this case I have connected to the Ethernet so that's why it's showing the Ethernet IP address so this IP address uh, changes dynamically every time the router restarts so that's why we need to set a request to the DHCP server for static IP address to set a static IP address to your Pi so first you need to type this command uh, to make a copy of the DHCP configuration file then once it's done, type this command uh, inside this, uh, scroll all the way to the bottom and add these lines. As you can see, I have used a CIDR notation to reserve the first 24 bits of the IP address. You can simply use any IP address between this range. For now, I will leave it as 192.168.0.14 and once it's done, then save the changes of the file and now we're going to go ahead and reboot the Raspberry Pi using this command sudo reboot. Now let's try to ping the IP address that we had set for the Pi. So just type ping and the IP address you have assigned. So if you get the packets back, then you're good to go. To further verify it, I try to log in into the Pi through SSH. Now inside the Pi, uh, you need to type the command called IP and space letter A and you will see the static IP address here. Now moving on to the iPhone. So on the iPhone running the iOS 12, I downloaded an app called Siri Shotcut, so which helps to automate the things from the App Store. And now once it's done, just go ahead and open the Safari browser and uh, check the link in the description and make sure that you open that link right inside the Safari browser. And this will gonna take you to this page here and simply click on the uh, download to install the shortcut which I have created. Now once it's done, now open this shortcut by clicking on the menu button. Now inside the shortcut, uh, scroll all the way to the bottom and change the IP address if you have set a different. So in this video, I use the IP address, this IP address, I mean, and I will leave it as it is for uh, for a moment. And then I leave the port number as it is default. And under the user and password, I type the root username and password. So which is basically the username is Pi and the password is the Raspberry. So once everything is set, then click on done. And that's it. Now let's try this. So if I tap on this a shortcut, you can see either two options from the action sheet. So in this case, I will choose a reboot option. And once it's executed properly, and you will see a message called a transport read. So which means it actually ran the script on the server. And on the MacBook Air, you can see it says the connection is closed. And that's pretty much about it. This has been KSK. I'll catch you in my next one. Bye-bye now.